Hi guys, this is Chef Saranj and today we are going to make a mango curry. Well, this is my grandma's recipe. So thank you grandma. And there is one thing very special about this recipe. You can make this under 30 minutes. That's it. Just imagine a grandma's recipe under 30 minutes. This is going to be epic. So first let me introduce you to the spice box. You need a teaspoon of jeera. You need half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. You need a pinch of salt to taste. You need two teaspoons of dry coriander powder. A teaspoon of red chili powder, where if you don't want chili, you can avoid it. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder for a great color. Apart from that, you need three mangoes. You need two big spoons of ghee. You need a pinch of asafoetida, which we also call heen. You need two lemons if you like a lesser tart flavor. You can add one lemon. And you need curry leaves, 8 to 10. You need 200 ml of coconut milk and one teaspoon of dry mango powder, which we also call as the amchur powder. So let's start our grandma's recipe. First, what we need to do is we need to puree our mangoes. I'll show you a very interesting way how to slice these mangoes. You know what my grandmom used to do? It was a very tedious process. She would peel the mango and then use it to pulp it. Well, I'm a chef, so I figured my own techniques. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to make these gashes like a lattice pattern. Simple, take a spoon and there you go. Mangoes come out. See, it was that easy. It was that easy. Also you can do this when you are making a fruit cream, if you are making a salad, it's the easiest way to scoop out mangoes. Similarly, we are going to take out cubes of all the three mangoes. Great. Uh, these mangoes look delicious. So all we need to do is now make a thick puree. That's it. We have a nice thick mango pulp. As I said, this recipe is under 30 minutes. So I have to live up to that promise. Let's quickly start our recipe. So well, when you keep the ghee in the fridge, this is what happens to your ghee. Well, that's not a problem. It will melt in two minutes. So I'm going to add two big spoons of ghee. Else my grandma won't approve of this recipe. There you go. So let's quickly add one teaspoon of jeera and half a teaspoon of mustard. You don't have to add a lot of mustard, otherwise it will become bitter. So if you want your curry to be sweet, be careful with the mustard. So after the jeera and mustard have started popping, this is the right time to add our curry leaves. And I'll show you a very simple technique. Not like this, you upturn the curry leaf and whoosh, all of them are out. Very simple. I love curry patta, so I'm going to add more of it. Ah, already smelling beautiful. Now is the right time to add our spices. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder two teaspoons of coriander powder pan is a bit too hot so we can take it off a dash of haldi salt to taste that's it now we mix a lot of people add spices later, but I like to add them before we add the ingredients. So what happens is, these spices get a bit cooked. So you have this roasted smell. Beautiful. And now, ta-da, the surprise. Well, you might be thinking that these pips had been thrown. No, these pips go inside the curry. One, two, and three. I have these fond memories when my grandmom would cook this recipe for me and I would 
first take the pips and suck all the goodness out of them because they are so tasty. So they will take all the masala in and it's beautiful. So after we've added the pips and the pips have coated with the masala, we now add mango pulp. So these are three mangoes. So now all the masala will mix with the mango pulp and this is the right stage to add water and 200 ml of coconut milk. We are only going to add half a cup of water. So well, the easiest is I add water. Give it a mix. Yeah, this is what my mom does. She does not waste anything at all. So there you go. So well, the boil is here. So it's time to add our coconut milk. You can use any coconut milk. Well, if you have fresh, that's your best bet. Fresh coconut milk is divine. So as I said, the gas should be on sim. And there goes our coconut milk. If you want to avoid coconut milk, you can add full fat cream milk as well. A lot of people ask me, can you avoid ghee? No, you cannot avoid ghee. This is my grandma's recipe and without ghee, it's not possible. Ah, beautiful color. So well, this is the right time to do a taste check for this curry. Um, because after this, you won't be able to add any salt or spice because we have to let it simmer for 10 minutes. So let's do a taste check. Yeah, my grandma would be proud. It's tasty. No salt needed. I think everything is perfect. So all we have to do is we we'll keep it on simmer for 10 minutes and our mango curry will be ready. At the end we will give it a burst of lemon juice. That's it, under half an hour. That was my promise. It's been 10 minutes. The curry has become fairly thick. This is the right consistency that you would want for your curry. If you're going to have it with rotis, you can make it even thicker. I'm going to have it with rice. So I think this consistency is perfect. Beautiful. Now we need to add a large sarka and lemon juice to it. We need to add a hinka tarka. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to keep this here. And I'm going to make a tadka in another pan. So quickly, we need to add a bit of ghee. Just enough for the tadka. I have some hing ready with me. And we can add a leaf or two of the kari patta as well. Just for garnish sakes. We're going to add a pinch of hing. Hing is very strong. So if you're going to add more than this, it will spoil the taste of your curry. I have two curry leaves. So as the hing, so as you smell the hing, that means it's cooked. And now you can add this to your mango curry. So well, tadka humne dal diya hai. Isme hum dal dete hain. Lemon juice. That's it. Now we need to serve this lovely curry in a bowl. Now a nice presentation bowl. Uh -huh. And you can put some rice in, put curry on the top and you're done. Oh my god, look at this. Well, our mango curry is absolutely ready. Well, you should and must cook this back home. Especially for your grandmom. She will be very happy. And if not for your grandmom, for yourself. Because I'm going to have this lovely curry with brown rice. So well guys, it's time for me to leave because this will get cold. You have to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And obviously, Insta it, tweet it, FB it. And do follow me on my website as well. See you guys soon. Bye.